as I was praying, I just felt like there is someone here that should share their testimony of how the Lord got a hold of their life. And it's, there's somebody here. Who, who is that? Me. Your heart's leaping. <laughs> you go ahead. I think so. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here and share a little bit about my testimony and where where I came from, why I'm here. Because <laughs> um, it's not every day that you see a 20-year-old that's married and has two kids. <laughs> so I grew up in the church, um, just in Assemblies of God Church, you know. And, you know, I grew up in a Christian family. Um, you know, we just went to church on Sundays and just did the usual thing. And... Um, I didn't like church. I fell asleep every Sunday. I would lay down in my mom's lap and sleep in the pews. I didn't like Sunday school. I'd cry. I didn't like going. <laughs> and um, yeah, I music has always been a part of my life. You know, I started taking music lessons whenever I was six, and I just kept doing music. And then my my music teacher, she was the pastor's wife, so that's how I ended up on the worship team when I was ten. And so I've been doing this for a while, just kind of just playing piano and or play my saxophone or whatever but I didn't have a relationship with God and I didn't really care about God at all and I remember even whenever I was 10 years old the pastor asked me if I wanted to be baptized and I said no because <laughs> I was like I don't know what it means I don't want to do anything if I don't know what it means and anyways so fast forward um I'll just talk about the first encounter that the Lord reached me in. I was in this um, fine arts competition. It was like an Assemblies of God thing. And we were at this like one evening service, and they had this big worship thing, and then somebody spoke, and I remember um, whatever he said. It was probably just the gospel message um, about, you know, Jesus coming after us. But I remember I saw like a picture of Jesus on the screen, and it just seemed so real finally. I'm like, oh my gosh, he actually died, like for me. Like he wasn't just some sort of figure. He's actually real. Like he was real, and that touched me. And I remember I just started sobbing. I was 12 years old. Um, I just started sobbing. I was hugging my friend who was also having another encounter, and we were like sobbing and hugging each other. And then I remember I just felt the love of God for me. I felt it so deeply. And then, um, you know, I went back to school. I became homeschooled that year. And I didn't really, like, I didn't really read the Bible. I didn't really have anyone discipling me to kind of explain things to me. And because I was so young, I didn't know. And um, I eventually fell back into the world. And I, um, I joined public school for band. That's how I met my husband, <laughs> and uh, which is a blessing. But you know, whenever you go there, you have more of a mix of people. You're not just around your Christian homeschool group. And so I fell back into that way. And I remember I was diving into all sorts of stuff, like trying to mix God with um, crystal reading and trying to mix God with, um, you know, just feelings and whatever I wanted in my life. I would try to pull God along because I knew that Jesus was real. Like I knew that God was real. And, um, but I just kept trying to pull him along with whatever I wanted to do. And I was going to go to college for music and I wanted to be like, um, you know, just a professional musician or like a music teacher, that's what I wanted to do. And um, it wasn't until COVID, you know, I'm just stuck at home. By then, me and Sam are already talking and dating. And um, he was discipling me a little bit. You know, he got him his heart right with the Lord a few months before we started dating. And um, I remember he kept trying to disciple me and have us read the Bible together. And I remember he was like chasing me down with his his journal and I was like, no, no, thank you. <laughs> I didn't say that, but I kept running away from him. And um, But during COVID, we had nothing to do but just call and like talk and watch sermons and read the Bible. And the more I started doing that, the more like I started, the Lord was just seeking after me. I never had a day where this is the day that I was saved. I never had that. And so it was just an experience of growing with him. And so I feel like that's why, like today, it's just been on my heart that it's okay if you're not where you're, you where you want to be, because God will take you there. You know, I was nowhere near where I wanted to be. You know, my, I had a dream of wanting to be a mom and wanting to be like 
a stay-at-home wife and a worship leader and stuff. But I also wanted to go to college and be a professional musician and do this. But the Lord, the more you surrender to him, the more he'll direct your paths, the more he'll change your course. And so that's what happened. It was a slow, a slow like renewal. I had a lot of problems with trying to figure out, um, you know, living righteously, modesty, um, controlling my tongue, stuff like that, you know. And just being around in high school, that's hard. So, yeah, that's my testimony, and the Lord's just been working on me ever since. So, yep. <laughs>